Well, a nice box covered in a lot of um, a lot of bubble wrap, which was great, uh, came today. Uh, it's a Trio JR500 SE original box, and um, seems to keep on just turning it and finding out the same thing, I suppose. It does too. Look at that. All right. Um, so this is the um, receiver that we picked up the other day, um, and uh, chap was nice enough to. Box it all up nicely for us and uh, bubble wrap it, etc. All right, let's pull it out and have a look. Always a great sign when you um, get your booklet out and you look at the top of it and you just think, oh, that doesn't look like it's as old as what it should be, but it is, <laughs> which is a good thing. All right, we'll get it out of this box and we'll, uh, we'll see what she looks like. Um, certainly looking very positive. Well, first impressions are wow. That's really clean that is extremely clean actually if i turn this around a bit the lights in this room at the moment um it's still getting fitted out here but uh um outside as you can see it's a look it's a lovely day in some respects i'd rather it be a day like this um and the views out this window are just beautiful i love looking at the hills and that's why i sort of built this room here it's uh, it's great for that but <coughs> excuse me i need to get a few um few lights and bits uh, set up over these desks but boy that is really really clean um, seriously very very clean and um, worth every cent um, even if it doesn't go <laughs> you know what I'm quite prepared to fix it um, um, it's just this type of quality that uh, you just think wow very very clean Ugh. move that back there again don't know why I put it around that way Okay, so I suppose everybody wants to know what happens when you plug it out, plug it in. Righto, for anyone that thought I was just going to plug this thing in. <laughs> yeah, we're just testing you. Um, yeah, look, we always pull the covers off after something's been um, freighted to us. Have a little bit of a look. Just see what's, um, what's sitting. See, that's a little bit dislodged there, just slightly. Not much. But we're having a bit of a look just to see whether or not there are any potential problems that um, can you know come our way before we actually uh, flick the fella on. I've actually come into my radio room because the antennas are in here, um, but um, I just want to get the bottom off it and have a look at that too, and we'll just check that before uh, before we go hooking up. All sorts of things can be a problem sometimes. You never know who's put what lead on what, what plug on. Um, we even like to check the transformer. Um, Make sure it is set up for 240 volts. It's clearly got a 240 volt plug on it, but it <laughs> doesn't always mean that's what it is. All right, I'll uh, be back to you soon. Okay, so now we're into the guts of the thing, and um, this this really gives you a bit of an idea just how much fine precision work was done <laughs> by hand. And uh, hang on, let me just turn that radio down. Um, just uh, amazing how they used to hand make these boards and just solder them by hand. Um, really incredible, and this switch here uh, is looking pretty good, but um, of course that switch serves as your uh, main power switch as well, so you know, we might just want to put a meter on that and have a bit of a look. Um, we're uh, having a very good look up here, of course. This is what we really want to know. Uh, we want to see this type of um, designator. Um, and believe me, I have actually bought gear where people have said, um, yep, yep, 240 volts, never tried it, but 240 volts. And um, that's great, except for um, uh, when I've gone inside it, I found that, uh, yeah, someone's put an Australian plug on it, and that's lovely, but um, it's far from 240 volts, normally 110. And um, uh, we got lucky with that one, by the way. It, um, we... Plugged it into a 110 supply, expecting that, you know, it wasn't going to do much. Didn't smell bad or anything. It was, uh, you know, it was pretty good. But um, it, it certainly was one that I thought, no, that won't work. Anyway, I'm actually just taking time to show you about what we check here. We're not only, only checking to see about dislodged valves, but we're just having a look for anything that might be like a dry joint or, you know, like a wire hanging off or anything that sort of could be an issue. Um, my mate Peter Newman got me back into this old... Um, uh, way that I should be doing things. I <laughs> must have been, I was, I was getting a bit slack for a while. Um, it almost looks like, see some of these caps here, oh, 
Oh no, they're, they're probably original. No, no, that's um. Hang on, let's bring that down a bit. Yeah, I would. Oh, geez. They look pretty good. <laughs> I've got to say, but that means nothing. I've seen caps that have looked fantastic before, and um, they can give you trouble. But yeah. All right. Well, I've got a few multimeter tests that I want to do on this. Just seeing what they do here. As much as I'm excited to get this up and running. Um, I've got a few checks that I'd like to make and I know my phone is going to run out as far as um, the video wait time but um, but honestly this is probably the thing is to remember you know take the time to check things um, I mean you know especially with something like this it's a beautiful piece of equipment and it, it really is but make sure that you know everything is actually 100% before you go plugging 240 volts into it and that's what I'd like to do with this one so I actually intended to show you this working but um, I yeah no I've got a few things that will time out with this uh, this camera <laughs> but um, we'll do a part two with this and um, but I think you know getting a bit of a look at this and just exactly how beautiful it is and and the workmanship I'll just bring that around heavy little beast in it with that transformer up the top there uh, but yeah look isn't it funny from the top side here it doesn't look like much goes on like it's a fairly basic sort of receiver until you get to the bottom side and you realize there's a little bit more to this than meets the eye anyway look that's that's a real success um the for getting a jr500s in uh, especially original box and bits it's it's nice uh, we'll come back and have it hooked up to an antenna actually i just noticed before too there'll be a little bit to do with that and uh, what i was talking about before actually have a look at this see now look quite seriously um, that may be just a, a meter globe. I would say that's come from right there, to be honest. I'd say that's exactly where it's come from. Um, but that's why we take the covers off. That's why we have a bit of a look first, just to see what we've got. Um, you know, this could easily be a switch wire coming off a, you know, one of those front selectors there. Um, in this case, I think it's just a globe. <laughs> so, um, um, I think we were pretty right. But, um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll go get a, uh, um, I just want to get me a couple of meters in here and uh, well, then we'll take this back into the other room and we'll just measure that transformer make sure everything's doing what it should be and um, then we'll make up a couple of leads for the antenna and also uh, it requires an external speaker so I'll bring one of our little Kenwood speakers in we'll do a part two at some stage very soon knowing me probably in the next few hours this one's got me a bit excited okay 73s VK3 Charlie Mike um, lovely um, lovely piece of equipment though for uh, for its age 73s